guys. What up, what up? It is sad. Hey guys, I'm just kidding, I'm not in it. I, I totally keep that in there, sorry. That no, was Priceless, that here. was Priceless. I... It's another day, another vlog. Um, today is Saturday and we just took some pictures for my, and some video for my YouTube and also for her school work. She's in a photography class. So we're trying right now, we just got stuck in the worst traffic, so we're trying to go to Starbucks before 5 p.m. because it is happy hour at Starbucks, so it's like buy one, get one free. It's so basic, I know, but the caramel brulee latte is literally my all-time favorite thing. Caramel? I know, I had a little slip, it's okay. Sometimes I have a caramel. little slip. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes when I talk, I get tongue-tied. You don't have to shave me on camera. When you have to grab your money from the back. Anywho, um, yeah, so really, like, in January, which until the fall, I don't really care about Starbucks, but holiday is my favorite time. Should we share a cranberry bliss? Hi, how's it yeah. going? Hi, great, thank you. Um, can I get um, then two of the same? It will be two tall caramel brulee lattes, half sweet, um, skinny, light whip. Yeah. Actually, sorry, can I have a whip on one of them and no whip on the other? Great, just gonna grab a total here for you. It's gonna come to 835, I'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. Wait, why is it gonna be $8? That's what the fuck. That, yeah, wait, one Starbucks gym is like $5. One, it's a tall. This is why I don't come to Starbucks. Like they do daylight robbery at Starbucks. Like I love eight dollars so for I a tall care. Starbucks and a little. Gotta be kidding. Yeah, me. You don't want me. I don't need you. Girl, your heart is so damn see-through. Don't you blame this on time? And honestly, this is just what you wanted. Don't feel bad for you when you're crying. Cause in the end, I'm left with no conscience. Girl, I'm left with no you guys look what got oh i thought it was my um jacket that i ordered but look what got here my love with food box i literally just popped my lash on and ran downstairs because i thought it was this coat that i ordered from zara but this is equally as exciting i just didn't think it would get here yet so, so guys i'm doing my makeup right now i don't have my ring light or anything set up but i figured i would just sit you guys down with me while i do my makeup because i'm going for lunch i've already got my lashes on and you guys would have seen that oh, it's a little hot in here these are the best lashes ever they are blinking beauty number two i love them this is not going to be a tutorial it's like so informal i'm just going to go through everything in fast mo and i will list everything that i left below but girl i'm left with no options you got me breaking my promise okay, i told you i wasn't going to talk through but this hourglass foundation this is the vanish foundation holy crap this has been my most favorite thing recently it's all i ever wear yes, i believe in love for some reason now you make me want to let go i mean hello coverage right knew it from the start opened up my heart now it's about to explode and clearly i don't want to see you leaving me thought you were the one who believed in me You're losing interest it's plain to see Tell me what you want from me I got everything you need Give me what I want from you Only one last thing to do Tell me what you want from me I got everything you need Give Makeup is done, now I'm gonna go fix my hair but I'm probably just gonna wear it up anyway similarly to this so I'll be with you in a sec So I just put my lipstick on and it is Anastasia Dusty Rose. It is so freaking drying though. I put it on at the last minute because girl, I cannot with that dryingness. But you see how popping this highlighter is? So now I just changed my shoes in the car because I can't drive in heels because it like ruins them. So I'm sitting in the passenger side. Sorry, I thought I just saw my friend and I just put on my shoes, my lipstick. And now let's go do lunch. Lunch, we're just in this room to get some lights up in here. It's just shady. Lunch was delicious. I'm just getting back. I'm just actually seeing if my jacket came. I'm super excited about this. I actually saw it in store, but like when I buy coats from Zara, I don't like to buy them in store because most of the time they've been tried on and they're not as good as, like if you look at how this is, it's like so pristine. I don't think that much. Oh, I love it. I love the sleeves on this one and the collar because it has like these metallic stripes on them here and then also around the collar details. Hey guys, I'm just sitting here waiting to go out to dinner. It's my dad's birthday and I figured I haven't vlogged in a while so I never actually wear my hair up like this but I'm just so lazy that I might keep it like this. I can't be bothered to style it but we're going out for dinner. One thing I will say is I've been looking for the perfect silver ring set. Don't mind my nails. I just need to get OPI Nail MB so that's why they haven't been painted in forever because they break super easily but I found the perfect ring set from Windsor Store. It's like eight bucks. I have rings on this hand. 
rings on this hand and then I still have some left over and it was 10 bucks. I will link them down below. House looks like Christmas. Woohoo! Don't tell me to shut up. Look how cool. I love this projector. No, I want you. Tantrum, you losing it. Arguing daily, I'm through with it, girl. I don't wanna. You guys, the weirdest thing just happened to me. Well, I found it pretty weird. Um, I had ordered a package from Amazon, and you guys know usually Amazon ships with like uh, reputable places like FedEx and UPS and all that. So I hear the package get dropped off at my door. It was done through Landmark Global. And I go to see like who it was because it didn't say who the carrier was and I swear to you guys an unmarked like random car as if it was like me driving to deliver a package at your home just dropped the package off at the door and drove off and I was like hmm that's kind of sketchy like I had just assumed that Landmark was like border free or something that like when it gets to Canada they'll transfer it over to UPS, Canada Post, DHL like you know like a known company that it's okay if they have your address I just thought it was kind of sketchy so I'm gonna go open the package. It looks like it's wrapped in Amazon packaging too. Let's see the status. Break up with you choosing it, trying to control me and telling me what to do. Cannot just be So these boots, you guys, I literally bought them in taupe suede maybe a week or two ago. And then I decided I had to have the black because they're so comfortable. They're so cute. They don't make them anymore, so you have to get them on Amazon. I think I literally got the last black pair. And I'm so stoked because I needed a good pair of black booties. Now is about to explode. And so guys, I have the time and I want to go through the December Love With Food box with you guys. I recognize this girl. Is this Tiffany from um, Tiffany Thiessen from Saved by the Bell? I always get the deluxe box because it just has the most snacks. Like you get doubles of things in it, which I love. And like it's great for if you have a family. But also this box is like great to keep at work or something. Or if you're a student, it's perfect. I see these at Costco all the time. And half the time I'm praying that there's a tasting bit for them. And there never is. So I'm excited. Let's just open this now actually. Shut your face. I, I'm an idiot. I don't read. This clearly says it's snacking chocolate. I thought it was like cookies. This is so good. It's like chocolate with almonds in it. Obsessed. I said I wasn't going to try everything, but like it's snack time and now I'm feeling hungry. Like when I see these snacks, I can't just not try. So because these are interesting, I've never heard of pasta chips. Mm. This is a uh, yogurt, strawberry go-go squeeze. Yogurt, it's low fat yogurt on the go. So this is something that I will probably give to my sister because you guys know I don't really eat pasta, but this is organic cheddar cheesy deluxe mac and cheese. Mm. That looks really good, those Fiesta mac and cheese bowls. There are two of these off the cob chips. So these are corn chips, sea salt flavor. These Salma's oven baked corn crackers with a pinch of salt. Guys, I love finding like decent crackers and things for you because I've been making salsa a ton. And I like to put salsa on stuff like this. <gasps> Fruit gummies, yay. These are a little higher in sugar and carbs than I would usually go for, but I live for a fruit gummy, honestly. These two things are, oh, shut up. Sorry, I lost myself. Premium dark chocolate peppermint bark. You've got to freaking be kidding me. Made with 50% cocoa. And you know what they say about dark chocolate. It's got antioxidants in it and it's healthy for you, right? Oh, it is so pretty. Honestly, I'm looking so busted, but I gotta try a square. These I'm also super stoked for. This is Lucy's All Natural Gluten Free Non GMO Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps are my favorite cookies. These are vegan too, actually. And then I'm excited for this too, actually. A Luna Dark Chocolate Hazelnut Bar. This I'm probably gonna save for a post workout snack because it's clean, good for on the go. So, yeah, guys, that's what's in my December box. And everything is like pre portioned for you. So, if you meal prep, I can just like grab this and go. As always, you guys know I've been working with them for a while. And the best part is now they ship to so many more countries worldwide, which is amazing because you can all get in on the action. If you got this month's box, what did you think? Because I'm obsessed to know. So, we finally put up our tree although it's sorry I got an email although it's not finished got the lights on it and everything but I wanted to decorate it immediately we put it up last weekend and everyone wants to decorate it as a family so here are all the decorations just literally waiting for us to do them honestly like our Christmas tree 
Okay, I opened like the wackest Christmas decoration box ever. Okay, let's try this box. Our Christmas tree doesn't actually have a theme. We literally have stuff from when I was a little girl growing up. Like we have a lot of different knickknacks. It's not like those trees that you see all over Instagram where everyone tries to do a super professional tree. We like to keep it kind of like a memories tree because there is literally stuff on there that I remember from growing up in England when I was really young. So this year I went to Bombay. If you live in Canada, Bombay is like um, Z Gallery kind of. I would say it's the closest thing to Z Gallery. They have like the cutest uh, baubles and stuff. So we have a lot of baubles, but I wanted to pick out some like nice decoration things. I mean, hello. Is this not so me? Like you guys know when I saw this, I died because hello, it's gold, it's glittery. This is like me in an ornament. Like if I could go on the tree, this would be me. I chose this rose goldish kind of one with the red jewel in it because we have red accents, quite a few red accents on our tree. And then there is this one. So I got four snowflakes so I could put them, like space them around the tree. And then there's this one, lastly. This is kind of like the other one, but they kind of match. So if you put one on opposite sides of the tree, there's still kind of like some organization going on with our tree. Like it's, we try to do things symmetrically, but not everything is like all from the same packet. So these are from Bombay and I love that store. They have so many nice furniture things in there too, but I'm going to leave the vlog here. Hopefully the next thing will be us decorating the tree. You'll see that in the next vlog. And I have a ton more vlog footage that is going to be coming up really soon. So I'm going to leave this one here and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.